Okay. So. We got more Draft League. Um, I'm already qualified for playoffs. But, you know, I'd like to... Like I said, I'm trying to... I'm trying to kind of manipulate my position. Um, to where I want it. Uh, just because I know how playoff... I know how the matchups are going to work. Uh, essentially. And so I'm trying to get just the right um, seating. Right. So. Um, but yeah. Today I'm going up against the new, the, no, not New York. New Jersey. New Jersey Reggies. I was like, it's new something. Um, but yeah. So against um, a guy who is known for enjoy, in his words, being a based stall enjoyer. <laughs> um, yeah, so we got the, um, we got Dozo Claude plus four, a plus Sableye. Um, you can even make an argument for Golden Go, but that just fits on like every kind of team. So, you know, what are you gonna do? <clears throat> um, I mean, that's definitely coming. Golden Goat's definitely coming. Right. As is the Lando. Right. That is just such a threat. Um, you know, sheer force. Base. Was it 120? No, no. 115 special attack. 125 is physical attack. I don't remember off the top of my head. Um, been too long since I played Ubers. I, I, I've been wanting to get back into Ubers. Um, I've just kind of had my hands full. Um... But yeah, Lando's a uh, huge threat. Volcanion's also a really heavy hitter. If he brings specs, it's a huge problem for me. Um, I'm very limited in Volcanion answers. Um, I was debating bringing Azumarill. But even then, like, it just gets worn down by Hazard. Like, Volcanion gets Sludge Bomb. It's really tough. Um, I don't know, maybe he won't bring it because he sees like the screen tail and the Azu. It's like, ah, it's not worth it. Mean, eh, he, no, 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 that's not, that's not reason to not bring it. It's just reason to support the rest of the team to deal with the Azu and the screen tail. Um, yeah. Terra Articuno could be an issue. It's ground and fire for Terras. So it could either be a Mamoswine or it could be the world's first ice and fire type. Um, Sylveon's kind of an issue. I I was... I was um, I had a different version of the team that had um, Fire or Ikorio to deal with Sylveon, but it's, like, ah, it's not really worth it. Just because it, it gets shut down by so many... Um, members of the team it, it's not really it's not really worth it right um yeah and so the burning question what my team is um first we got um a um what's this pokemon's name hoopa right expert belt hoopa four attacks um i didn't really think I wanted the extra power, so I didn't want to go AV, and I also didn't want to be locked into move because I think in this matchup, where uh, these kinds of teams um, uh, that Harry has, they they try and you know switch around a lot. They they enjoy doing that. You know they can really afford to. So I think having the flexibility and the extra power was really worth it. Also, Hoopa just looks really good in general into the Dozo Claude core, which is part of why I drafted it. Um, because I saw that he picked up Dozo Claude. Um, something important to note is that... Actually, one sec. Um, was it? Yeah, yeah. That's I remember what I was going to say. He was the wheel of the draft. So he was the 12th pick out of the 12 people in the league. So uh, because of how the drafting was done, they did one... They did number one down to number 12. So he got to pick up Golden Go. 
and then they did number 12 back to number one. So I got to pick right again, right after he picked Golden Go. So I picked up Golden Go Landorus, um, like Dozo Claude. So, you know, a lot of Pokemon that work really well together. Um, right. So that's something to note. So a lot of these Pokemon are going to have good synergy. Dozo Claude being the most obvious case. Even like Golden Go to prevent um, hazard removal. Um, and then Landorus to take advantage of that. But. It can't actually prevent all hazard removal. I don't have Halucha, but I do have Tidy Up Mouse Hold, which Golden Go cannot block because it doesn't affect Golden Go. It just affects the field. Um, yeah, King's Rock because I'm a bad person. There was actually a um, like there was a there was a vote on whether we should ban King's Rock. I voted I voted yes to ban, just because I think it's uncompetitive. But um. There was a tie in the vote and it was kept um so like okay yeah sure i'll bring king's rock mouse hold why not <laughs> right it's super gimmicky but i do not care i'm also like a horrible person for bringing it but i've accepted that um i think the math works out to be um ah, hold on I'm gonna like pause the recording anyway i don't know um yeah I, the math works out to where it's a i have to hit i think i have to hit a one in three to hit all 10 population bombs without wide lens and if i do that then it's a two and three to flinch um so you know i it it sounds pretty bad until you're like okay well yeah even if population bomb hits eight times, that's still eight, ten percent chances to flinch, right? Um, <clears throat> yeah, so tidy up. I, I don't need to explain how crazy tidy up plus population bomb is, but um, <clears throat> yeah, bite for golden go, low kick, because I couldn't think of another move, and why would I need any other move, right? Other than population bomb bite, turn this down a bit. Um, yeah, just King's Rock because I'm a horrible human being. Um, now there's talk in the in the league about how I made the worst possible draft, and it's because I drafted Electrox. And everyone thinks it's bad and all that. But no, I believe in Electros. Look at this. Look at this spread. Um, it beats like it, it two KOs um, Volcanion. You know, it uh, two KOs Landorus. I believe it two KOs Golden Go. <clears throat> um, Claude Zyre, if it's um, if it's not water absorb. Uh, Fori after rocks if it isn't like leftovers. Um, just a really good pivot that I think would be useful for bringing in stuff like Mousehold, Hoopa, um, the like. Went with a went with a mixed set here, um, just to kind of cover as many options as possible. Kind of a catch-all. Um, nice bulky spread lives a lot of attacks. Um, it can. I don't think it 1v1s Volcanion necessarily, but it does, you know, butter it up for um, Hoopa or Mouse Hold. Oh, I didn't explain the speed on Hoopa. Um, or just any of the spreads in general. Uh, the attack is to uh, 2 KO Sylveon, uh, Fizz Def Sylveon with leftovers. Speed is for Adamant, Dis uh, Dekadui, or Modest Sylveon, which, I mean, I don't see coming, but, you know. Um, <clears throat> Spideff is for, I believe, Volcanion. And, um, oh, no, 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 it's for Golden Go because um, it helps with Shadow Ball. Now, you might be wondering why I'm Terra Psychic and not Terra Dark. And that's because, you know, look at it this way. Golden Go uh, wants to click Shadow Ball on Hoopa. But my opponent is a, is a good player, all right? He is, like, this winning this... Winning this match is going to be no easy feat. 
he's he's very skilled. So my idea is if he expects me to tear dark, he could focus blast. Um, and oh my god, wait a minute! No, because no, because Shadow Ball would just do more anyway. Okay, because I was gonna say like. Because I do live Shadow Ball after Terra Psychic, but... Hmm. Well, maybe... Maybe I do just keep Psychic anyway, so I'm not weak to Sylveon Hyper Voice. Yeah, okay. What is, that? is it useful for anything else? Not really. I guess Sableye, maybe, but... I'm not really going to be bringing this in on Sableye very much, because I have a Scream Tail. I'm getting way too good at these um, segues. Um, <clears throat> yeah, Dazzling Gleam, Flamethrower, um, you know, I, I, I don't like offensive Scream Tail, but this does pick up two KOs on, you know, 40, um, three KOs, Sableye, I believe, yeah, I think it does, I forget, I forget, I ran so many calcs, uh, I can't remember them all, um, you know, just a good pivot, right, spit F set, pretty standard. Um, doesn't get 3 KO'd by Volcanion, but that's assuming no rocks are up, which is uh, wishful thinking, right? Again, um, and when I say Volcanion, I mean Specs Volcanion, because, um, you know, that looks really good into the team. Barring Azu, he might bring, like, you know, Boots, just because of the Ting Lu. Um, I don't know. Like, there's a lot of sets Volt could run, right? For all I know, he could bring sub, right? Um, but yeah, Wish Protect. Um, I didn't feel the need to run Baton Pass. I don't think it's super necessary in this matchup. But yeah, uh, two attacks, Wish Protect. Ain't going to be picking up kills most of the time, but, you know, nice, ni nice to have, right? Uh, just so four doesn't get to come in completely for free. Uh, Tinglu standard dual hazard set. Um, the um, you know the uh, optimal leftovers HP jump point on spit up rest into HP or into defense rather. <clears throat> really good. Just like just has in general are really good here. Um, you know it's it's really hard for him to remove those because his only. He does have a Dissidia. Um, yeah. Well, he has two forms of removal. Um, one being Rapid Spin Fortress and the other being Defog Residual. I can't really deny Defog, but um, I've accepted that. <laughs> right? <laughs> I, I come to grips with that. Um, yeah. Not much to be said on this. Beats Lando, beats Golden Go. What else can you ask for? And then um, Houndstone just for um, Deca Dewey, Block Rapid Spin, um, Don Dozo, right? I mean, it's just good in general. Spread, spreading burns, you know, phasing. Um, really nice utility here. Like, Houndstone should really be the MVP. Is, I want to see, is there a. Um, Okay, I was I was wondering if there was a um, a match I didn't bring Houndstone to, but yeah, it was my week one and then week six. And we don't talk about the week six. I, I technically didn't bring it to week eight either, but that's because it didn't happen. Um, <clears throat> yeah, Houndstone has been really good. <laughs> um, yeah, I think the idea is. If I can control the pacing of the game, then I'm in good shape. Like, pacing is just the key here. Because, again, you know, these kinds of teams enjoy switching around a lot. And really um, not letting the opponent get momentum. Uh, the issue is, he just doesn't have a lot of, like, actual switch moves. He has Volt Switch, Volt Switch, U-Turn. That's about it, right? Um, I 
think Articuno gets U-turn, but if it does, it, I never see it. Um, but yeah, I'm feeling pretty good, right? I'd like I'd like to win. Um, we're actually like he and I are actually right next to each other on the um, in the standings. So no, well, I, I I'm like right below him, so. We have the same record, so if I win, then uh, it's great for me. I think. I think I am? I take his place. I'll probably be in top four at that point. Oop. I think so. Oh, it doesn't matter. Regardless, I've qualified for playoffs, which is... Um, which is one of the things I was aiming for. Obviously, I'm aiming to win the whole thing, but, um, you know. You know, this is a good start, right? I'm just looking to... Again, the goal is to just get myself a good seat, and then I will be chilling. Enough of me rambling. Um, I will cut to when the battle starts. Oops. Okay, so we don't see the Vulcanian, which is huge, um, as per Keith's um, <laughs> in, um, insight. But yeah, so Dozo Claude, as to be expected, Golden Goes here, um, also expected. No Landorus, which is good. Um, yeah, I, th I, I still think like Avi Electros is a. Uh, Mouthful to wish past me. <laughs> yeah, so... Sylveon, probably going to be the biggest threat, but I do think it's manageable. Um, I'll just have to stem off CM um, when I get the chance. So Sableye's probably going to be the lead if I had to guess. Um... I could lead, I could lead Ting Lu and Rune Nation on the Encore, potentially. Like, what's my Wincon here? I think Wincon might be, um... Wincon is probably Hoopa, right? Uh, rack up hazard damage on, like, Fori, and then get rid of the... Uh, Golden Go, and then I think Hoopa just kind of cleans up from there. I don't see why it doesn't. Um, yeah. Um, well, I guess we're both getting fuckload of hazards up. Um, hmm. Right. I'd probably get spikes up here. I think I value that a bit more. Um, yeah, I think I ruinate now. And then I spike. You body press. Okay. Yeah, so that's why I didn't want to go to mouse hold, just to cover the body press option. Hmm. I don't want to get... I don't want to let Tinglu get too damaged here, just because it's good for the Golden Go. Um, yeah, I'd probably go Screamtail here. Right? If he switches, he switches. Like, it's whatever. Yeah, body press comes out. I can... Flamethrower. Yeah, as you go, Clawdsire. That's fine. Um... I can cope with that. Um, what do I do here? I basically have two options. Go to Ting Lu and start throwing off EQ. Or, well, no, because then I'm just too susceptible to Toxic. Hard Mouthful might be the move here. I don't know what ability it is. Um, which is pretty tough, but, um, I, th I think that holds a move. Yeah. 
Yeah, so now I'm threatening a population bomb and I can tidy up to remove those hazards, help out with that pressure a bit. Um, I can go back into Tinglu, right? Um, and the Toxic is annoying, but it's not the end of the world just because, again, I do have that Wish passing support, which, yeah, is going to be really useful here. So he goes Don Dozo, which, um, again, a little bit annoying, but I, I can manage, right? I think the play is to always go into Electros. If he, like, curses up, and, like he's a spit out for whatever, and gets a wave crash off, I'm okay with that. We see the Fory, so good switch by me. Thanks, me. I'm welcome. So Discharge looking good here. Um, and if Clodzar comes out, we can get a read on what... Um, we can get... Okay, yeah. So we can get a read on what ability it is. So I'll go for Liquidation here. Okay, cool. Um, so it's unaware. Really good information. I can now... I can probably just Discharge now. Yeah, as you go into Sylveon... Now, this is going to be a little bit dangerous, right? I think... And I forgot. I, I did forget to set its speed EVs. Or its speed IVs to zero. Um, I, sh I, should, I should really be calcing my damage, right? Yeah, so it's just the standard spit F set by the looks of it. Um, and then discharge doing... What was that? 23 to Sylveon. That's Fizz Def, right? Um, Bold. Yeah, okay. Cool. So, we know that is... We know that's bold. Uh, physical Offensive, right? So, Gunshot doesn't kill from this range. Good information. I can go into Screamtail... Okay, yeah, you wish, right? Um, that's just something I kind of have to accept. Uh, wish Baton Pass into Claude's Ire. Okay. And then I could probably just go Mouse Hold. And then... He probably goes Sableye here. Again, like, this, this kind of team style doesn't really care about staying in on you know these kinds of threats but um yeah i'll population bomb here um you go don dozo that's perfectly fine oh um hmm okay <laughs> <laughs> What? All right, cool. I'll go Houndstone, cause uh, fuck it. And then Golden Goal is probably the switch here, right? I could definitely see that. I can go to Tinglu and try and you know really start putting some hazards on the field. But then that invites in Fory more often than not. It's, it's the ones we're so bad. Oh my god. Okay. Um, I'm going to go Tinglu here on the quads are. Okay. Um, let's see. So this is Spit F, right? How much does my Earthquake do? Earthquake? Oh my god. Hell yeah. Give me that damage. Um... If he recovers, I can always kill. Um, yeah, okay. Yeah, I'll ruinate on the wish. And then you probably stay in here, right? Um, yeah, I think he stays in. So I go Hoopa now. Hyper Voice does nothing. Now I'm, gonna, now I'm in good position to throw off um, really strong attack. Uh, Shadow Ball should be chucking this pretty hard, right? Um, no, actually. So I'm gonna Gunk Shot. Poison is really nice. That's actually super good. Right. 
Sylveon being poisoned plus the spikes damage, that's really going to add up really quickly. Yeah, so... Baton pass the poison away. <laughs> okay, okay. So yeah. Um, really nice so far. I like the position I'm in. Not passing a wish. Um, really nice. Golden Ghost probably the switch here if I had to guess. Um, in which case I go Ting Lu, even if it is pretty uh, beaten up. He's passing chip crazy. Um, yeah, Ting Lu is always the play here. You focus blast, like, that's whatever. Don Bone Jones and Friends versus the skill check. Um, yeah, the focus blast. I mean, the play was pretty obvious, right? Um, but that's whatever. Focus Blast. Let's see. 41. That is modest. Okay. Good to know, which means its speed at most is 267. Not great information um, to have. Right. I think I can go... Electros here. Go Sableye. Okay. Um, if you want to knock off my AV, I'm okay with that, right? You Willow, I discharge Para, and then we both probably switch. No, you stay in actually. Interesting. Um, I didn't think you'd get. I didn't think you'd see getting much out of that. Yeah, okay, so... <laughs> I need the best Pokemon. Uh, that's a reference. Um, hmm. Who is worth healing here? I think Tinglu, right? Just keeping this around. Yeah, okay, so... I can go Hoopa to deny Rapid Spin. Cool. Very awesome. That is... This is actually a great position, because now I get to throw off a free Shadow Ball. Yeah. Dondozo comes in. Yeah. Nothing doing. I, I don't know what Keith is talking about there. <laughs> um, yeah, another Shadow Ball. It's going to be really nice here. Yeah, again, Hoopa just really looking like a good win con. Yeah. Uh, preserves the Dondozo. Um, Golden Go could recover. Which I'm fine with. I don't think I need Mouse Hold at this point. Dondozo's Rocky Helmet. There's two Ghost types. Um, I don't think it's doing too much else here. Right? It didn't look amazing in the matchup on Team Preview anyway. So, I'm fine with giving it up here. You know, this is all to say. So, yeah, you make it rain. That is okay, right? So now I get to go into... There's no way he put speed on Dondoza, right? He would never. Hmm. The issue is now I don't have hazard removal, so I need to find a way to not... <laughs> yeah, he knows. Um, I need to find a way to not give up the hazards with Fori. I think the idea here is to go Hoopa. I think now is where I pop the Terra, right? Again, just the good, just the good mid ground. Um, we see. Okay, we see the Sableye come out. Interesting. Yeah, okay. It was probably going to recover. Okay, cool. So, Golden Go is back in. Um, Shadow Ball always kills, right? Right. 
I'm going to go Electros here. I haven't revealed Stomping Tantrum, but I think Discharge is the correct play in any case. Okay, yeah. Um, okay, so Dundozo's in. Oh. Oh, okay, stopping Tantrum is contact. I always forget about that. Okay, so Golden goes in now. Focus Blast miss. Yeah, that's that's actually super unfortunate. Yeah, that is that's really unlucky. Yeah, now I can just go Houndstone and just win. Yeah. That's unfortunate, but what are you going to do? I think I had that one anyway. Yeah. Um, here. Because, like, yeah, the Fori could keep setting up hazards now that my mouse hold was gone. And, like, Golden Go was an issue. But I think I did have the tools to deal with it overall. Like, Electros, like, the AV Electros was, you know, putting in work, obviously. Um, and I'm glad it did. Like, it really, it really um, pulled its weight. Uh, glad to see. I got that damage on Claude's Ire. Took care of the Sableye, took care of the Golden Go. Um, yeah. Um, I, I mean, I did get lucky, right? I mean, it's good for my differential, but... The... I mean, the bottom line, I could have kept wishing up Hoopa, and there was very little he could do about it. Just, like, on preview, that Hoopa was so threatening. Like, it was it was crazy good into the team, and I kind of knew that. Um, so, you know, I really just pushed that win con, and I'm glad I did, you know. Um, two back-to-back 5 -back O's. Um, well, I guess I had a 3-0 last week, but that was because of the forfeit win. Um, yeah, just really, really nice stuff. Wasn't expecting Modest Golden Go. Oh, it did outrun. No, it does outrun um, Speed Boost Nature Hoopa. Okay, yeah, so it makes sense, right? Um, but yeah, really clean uh, win by me. I, uh, I did win the skill check, as I like to call it. Um, yeah. Um, but no, at the end of the day, like, Wait, no, did Hoopa? No, I I don't know why I said Hoopa. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, then how is it paralyzed? I don't know. Um. Yeah. I, I, what am I trying to say? I think it was a clean win. I could have... I, I probably won anyway. He's a very good player, so... Um, um, it definitely wouldn't have been that close otherwise. Um, and yeah. Either way, that was still a close match. Like, I won 5-0, but it was not easy at all. Um, so yeah. Very good game. Next week is a, is a bye week for me because my um, Week 10 opponent dropped out of the league um and i just realized i'm gonna be getting this up on a sunday um which is surprising because like that's the draft league day that everyone agrees upon and i'm actually going to be getting up my video on that day so that's that's neat <laughs> uh
not that I care about, you know, when my videos go up, but that's cool. Um, yeah, I will.